In order to transfer the content from your master shell into the existing shell for your course, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the settings option when you're in your master shell and you'll have the option over here on the right hand side to export course content. So you're going to click on the export course content link and you're going to export the entire course and it'll just go through and make your export file and you can see the bar is just slowly moving across for us here and when it's done you'll see there will be a option to take the export file from about right here so now that our export is done you can see I have the option of a new export right here so I'm just going to click on that and it will download the file down into my computer and that's going to be the one that I'm going to upload into the new shell so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out to my dashboard and I'm going to navigate into the course shell for this particular course. So now I'm in the shell for my course here now and you can see it's just got the generic uh, GSOE blueprint that's put in here. So I'm going to want to go down to the settings option here now and I'm going to import the course and I'm going to select a copy from the Canvas course export package. I'm going to choose the file and I'm going to navigate to my downloads and you can see there's the file there. It's always a .imscc file so I'm just going to click on that and open it and I want to check all content and I'm going to import that content and as you can see it's thinking here now and in a second it's going to start importing for me depending on how large your master file your the file from your master shell is will depend upon how long it will take to finish this thinking import is currently running here now and you can see the progress coming across here along the blue bar and once that's completed all of the content will be in there and there'll just be a couple of more things that we need to do as you can see we've got it completed here now so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the home option and this brings me back to my generic page and I'm going to come down here along the side and I'm going to click on the pages option this will also bring me back to my home page but it'll give me access to this view all pages button and I'm going to want to click there and I'm going to come down and you'll see there's the home front page which is what we were just looking at and then there's this home to which you can see was created today and that is the one that I just brought in so I'm going to click on that and you can see here's the information that was here for the master shell so I'm going to want to click edit here and I'm just going to highlight all of this and I'm going to go and copy it back to the main page so if, now if I click back here on home I'm gonna click edit here and down here underneath the welcome to the course I'm going to uh, hit enter and get a new line there and I'm just going to paste it all in so now I've got all of this information pasted in and the lines that say this page is just used for course development purposes I'm going to just delete those two and then the remove any links columns not used I'm gonna delete that one and now you can see I've got my menu structure built into my main course so I'm just gonna go down here and click save and now the original instructions are still there so as an instructor you're gonna to wanna to go in and update the this information here as well as the other information such as the instructor information and um, your syllabus up here 
But all of this information here is linked in now, and if you were to click on it, it takes you exactly to where we want to be in the course. So that's how you take the content from your master shell and put it into the version of the course that you're currently teaching.